Hello friends, welcome to DevOps Tricks. I hope you are doing great. Do you want to work in DevOps space? If you are already working in DevOps space, do you want to be more efficient? If yes, then I can probably help you. Today in this video, I will tell you about a few tools which will help you work very efficiently in DevOps. But firstly, for the viewers who do not really know what DevOps is, let me tell you with an example what actually DevOps is. Let us say our friend Dave works in a company and for them going to the market faster with new products, security updates and bug fixes is really important. They cannot afford to do without that. But at the same time, there is no place for quality issues because they can't afford to do that either. They will lose their customers. During the time QA team takes to give them the feedback and come up with defects, they would have already moved to coding new products and new security updates and new fixes. Now when QA team is back with a bug, they really don't know how to refocus on that work because they have been doing so many things in parallel. After the QA tests the build and they certify it as OK, it is now passed on to Opera's team. Opera manages all the system administrators and the release management team. She has to ensure that not only all the scripts are deployed on the production, but the production servers are up and running at the same time. With the build that Opera gets from Dave's team, she often feels that either some steps are missing or some dependencies are missing. This happens because most often than not, the production servers are very different in configuration from the ones that the dev team is using. So this results in the fact that on production, either the builds do not perform as per the way it was doing in the dev environment or it is not at all deployable. So this gives Opera and the clients a very difficult and unpleasant time. Well, Dave's team feels like that is all they can do and this is how much time they have got but Opera's team feels that as if the work has been thrown over to them over a wall and they don't have any context. So you see the problem now. Can anything be done to fix that? Yes, definitely. So this is where DevOps comes into the picture. But even in DevOps, they will have to adopt a custom where Dave's team and Opera's team are working together and not in isolation. It is mandatory that they break down the wall that has been existing from the times of the waterfall model in SDLC. They will have to adopt automation for automating parts of coding and testing. They will have to automate the infrastructure. Also, they will have to automate the monitoring of different servers. This is what DevOps is all about. So let us see what Dave's and Opera's team can do together to do it in the DevOps way. Firstly, Dave's team will have to adopt delivering chunks of code daily instead of a large chunk of code weekly. This will save them time in testing and ensuring that there are no performance bottlenecks at the very beginning. Well, that did not need any specific tool. It is just about a change in the way to do things. Secondly, what they can do is they can start automating their testing. There are unit test frameworks available like test ng, j unit and n unit. So they can really automate the unit test using those and aut automation of unit tests are really fast. On top of that, the API tests can be automated using libraries like Rest Assured. And for UI testing, there are multiple tools available in the market which are open source like Protractor, Selenium, APM and there are multiple other tools. So using these things plus doing some performance testing early in the life cycle like using some tools like JMeter, it can definitely help them. Not just that, there are some automation tools available for security testing as well, like Vega. And testing automation can be taken one step further 
with continuous integration tools like Jenkins, TeamCity and Bamboo. This can add a totally new dimension to the testing. Third, to help Opera's team, they can start using tools like Ansible, SaltStack, Puppet and Chef, which are configuration management tools. They can be used to deploy and ensure that infrastructure is managed by a tool through a code instead of doing that manually. What it means is same infrastructure can be created over and over in a consistent manner using just a code. On top of configuration management tools which can ensure that dev and production configurations are same Container technologies like Docker can be used to containerize the code and deploy the same containers on top of each and every server, thereby ensuring that same code is applied throughout the service consistently. Fourthly, Dave and Opera's team together can use source control technologies like Git, Bitbucket, Subversion, etc. What these can do is, along with version management of the code, they can also version manage the code for Ansible, SaltStack, and even the containers like Docker's. Along with configuration management, they can also use some dependency management tool like Maven, Gradle, etc. Last but not the least, fifth point, now since the deployment and infrastructure is automated, Opera's team can focus more on monitoring the production servers using tools like Splunk, Neuralic and Nagios. So all these things happen iteratively every day with automated code deployment, automated code testing, automated infrastructure management and automated log monitoring. So with these tools and change in approach towards a more collaborative working, DevOps ensures one, a faster time to market from weeks to just days. And secondly, it ensures more business focus with automated code deployment, automated code testing and automated infrastructure. But many companies and professionals do not know how to use these new age tools and are often struggling to let go of the primitive mindset of various teams working in isolation. So with this, I would like to wind up this session. I really hope it was useful for you. At Devoptrix, we train both individuals and corporates on important testing concepts like exploratory testing, test automation skills and tools like Selenium, APM, Protractor, and REST API over Maven and TestNG. We also train you on DevOps tools and concepts. We work very closely with all the stakeholders to plan, implement and design end-to-end -end DevOps pipeline. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that subscribe button now to stay abreast of all the cool things that are happening in the DevOps world. Thanks for watching, happy learning, happy evolving. Thank you.